Hi, I'm Roman and this is Messe Fudu TV. This video is about the evolution of my painting studio as a professional miniature painter for almost 20 years. Enjoy! In this video you will find a lot of inspiration and ideas that you can put into your own studio at home. Speaking about the evolution of my painting place, I have to go really far back. Back into 1998, when I was actually painting with some friends in the tiny basement of my parents. You see, I wasn't allowed to bring a lot of friends there because it's so super tiny. I had some years without miniature painting, but in 2006, when I again started with miniature painting, I started to paint armies for friends and had my own workbench at home. My second workspace was also at home, but a little bit more professional as I had more clients and more commissions to do. And I needed more space for storage. I found too many stones and sticks and stuff. I would say these examples are more or less what everybody else is having at home if you do this as a hobby. I became more and more professional, also starting with teaching and workshops, needed more storage. So the solution was to split the work area from home. This had also some emotional reasons, as I really wanted to relax at home and don't sit in front of work all the time or being confronted with my work. Of course, it's my passion, but sometimes it can also be work. So the next studio, some friends and I, we found a very good solution in the culture park in our hometown Augsburg, where they offer studios and rooms for artists and musicians. We moved in there. We were really super, super happy at having the space for a large painting table. Back then we thought this was large. Everything was kind of focused around the painting table. We had a small area with a couch. People in the studio nearby moved out. So, and they asked us if we want to move in because it was a little bit bigger and we were kind of starting to complain about the space for three to four painters. That's why we actually moved into the next room, which was larger and where we built even a bigger painting table for six people with, with a basketball garbage in the middle of the table. A big change here was getting the light out of the way from painting, using not only painting lamps but LEDs on top of the table. I don't want to be hunched back down to an area where I want to be creative. I want to feel space and freedom. Free space around you means free space in your mind. With a large area to have a small kitchen area and also relax and talking area. In this studio, workshops were held, private coachings were held. Composition rules explained, boy bands shaped, Journeys to painting workshops and events started. A lot of painting fun, happy painting was done. Wonderful memories to that. But this studio had to be torn down. There was a dark cloud on top of the studio because we knew that this will be torn down in the future. It started around 2016 that we heard rumors. Right now, in 2022, the city is tearing down the building. Some friends started with the hobby, other friends left the hobby. In the end of the studio, I was kind of alone with some friends, sometimes visiting me for painting there and students, of course. In this stage of my studio, I really wanted to thank Johannes, who I've met as a student of mine for painting workshops and a private class. We quickly became really good friends. He's now sharing the studio with me. And it was a strange time because I didn't know where this will lead to. I knew the buildings would be torn down. I did not know yet where to go. So my plan was actually to take the studio into my home again, to wait until the situation is solved. As soon as I made this decision, um, I was really energized for it. 
But two weeks later, my landlord called me and told me, surprisingly, that he needs the flat for his son, so I had to move out. So my plans were crushed. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. as you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. For me, it was really hard to say goodbye to the studio, and it took a while. I want to thank my wonderful girlfriend Tanya, who surprised me with a book of memories of the old studio collected from friends without me knowing about it. This made me cry and helped me to say goodbye to the studio properly. Thank you very much. But I had to move out from the studio and my flat. I found a new flat where I put my studio into 13 square meters. All that stuff from the big studio was there. It gave me the chance to really sort things out and sell some stuff on eBay and creating a cleaner collection of the stuff I really need and the stuff I don't need. I want to thank Eric too. He's helping me a lot with studio moves and questions I'm not able to answer myself. Thank you, Eric, from the heart. In the meantime, I'm living more on the countryside. I was lucky to find a studio nearby. The studio was like 30 square meters. I was super happy with the way to work. Also the, the place, again, it was from the culture park, from the same guys I was renting, renting before. The more studios I had, the more important it became for me to have material and tools I need often and quickly, very close to me. So things like um, tools and clippers and everything, went on areas where I really can get them fast and find them fast. I wanted to have my plugs very close to me, um, but not in the way. So I felt home there, family, so it was really good. But quickly I found out that I had a lot of people asking me for larger private coachings, like three to four to five people. For holding my workshops, I was always renting a space downtown. I was actually asking the culture park to be on the list for free space if it gets available. Suddenly this year I got an email from culture park and they told me, hey Roman, we have an interesting room for you. There was a yoga studio, they moved out and the room got free. It had 84 square meters, a small storage room and he was like, yes, let's make this ours. The studio move was quite spontaneous and I'm thankful to all the friends who helped me with it. It has been some wild days. Here are some impressions. Many, many thanks to all the support I received from friends and family and during this time in forms of messages and with best wishes and their help. I want to thank all my friends who helped me with the move and all the situations going on here and all ideas and that they brought in for this. Thanks to Johannes and Momo for the quality painting time we shared together and still share together. Finally, in this big studio, being able to set it up with all the wishes I had formed in my mind and the plans I've made. Thanks to everyone who helped me with the move. Thanks for your time and your energies and your power. For me, being in the studio means sitting down, painting, living my passion, a way of life, being creative, being productive, being focused, being away from the world out there. I think it's the same when you go to your workbench, washing away your day with color and relaxing, calming down, painting your favorite space marine. Space marine. Being in the studio also means sharing good times with friends, happy painting time. Being in the studio means working for me, of course. I'm a professional, so I have to work in here. Being in the studio also means to teach. Being in the studio means I find time to think about projects, about ideas, I hope you enjoyed the journey through my painting studios, found some inspiration in it. Let me know in the comments which idea you will pick out for your own workbench at home. Thank you for watching the video until the end and pressing the like button. Don't forget to subscribe down here. See you next time. Keep on happy painting. Roman out.
，拜拜。Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now we go.